Welcome to the 102 Thieves class. My name is Faith Nichols and I'm the founder of the Faithful Oilers team. And I've been using Young Living products in my home since 2015. My hopes for you today is that you're gonna walk away with a completely different perspective on how to clean your home and why it's critical to kick unclean ingredients to the curb. This class we're going to be doing is going to center around the Young Living Thieves line. So let's take a peek at what a Young Living home looks like. I'm going to share my screen with you and we're going to flip over to a PowerPoint. All right. Here we go. I'm a mom of four boys who happen to have the same birthday, quadruplets, they're nine years old, and my husband and I have been married for 12 years and live here in Brownsburg, Indiana. So having four boys cleaning up is just a constant. You always have something to pick up, to clean up, some sort of disaster that needs your attention. Before Thieves, all the cleaning was on me. When we switched over to Thieves, that was like one of my favorite things because I was like, oh my goodness, my boys can clean the toilets. This is awesome. Like they can start cleaning up their own messes. They've been using it ever since, ever since we made the switch. They kind of have their own chores and routines and do their own bathrooms and help with laundry. And doing dishes is a breeze now that everybody pitches in. Thieves is really gentle. I don't have to worry about it bothering my skin or wearing gloves or something to protect my skin. It's not a harsh smell or a aroma to it. So we're having another boy to add to our family. I feel really good about bringing a newborn into a home that has safe products and has things that they can be around right away. I don't think we could live without thieves. These products became a staple in my home in the fall of two, uh, 2015 after I had this profound bathroom cleaning experience. All my life I had struggled when it came to cleaning with traditional cleaners. I would get skin rashes when I came in contact with harsh chemicals and my asthma would flare up anytime I had to clean my bathroom. I, despite opening windows and I would turn on the fan and once I even wore a mask, but after a few minutes of just breathing in those toxic fumes, I would be left on the floor gasping for air. But then I was given a sample of our thieves household cleaner and I was just told to try it. And two and a half hours later of deep cleaning my kitchen, or sorry, my, my bathroom, my disgusting bathroom, um, I was totally in love and I knew um, that I was never going back. My lungs did not hurt, but also they actually felt amazing. And my bathroom smelled like Christmas baking. So I was sold at that moment. I was never returning to traditional conventional cleaners. Now it's been over four years since I ditched my old cleaning products and it's been almost that long since I've actually needed my inhaler. So quite a profound health change for me. According to the cancer.org site, 609,000 Americans are going to die from cancer this year, or 1,670 deaths every day. One in three men and one in five women will have cancer by the age of 60. Cancer is the second most common cause of death, exceeded only by heart disease. The American Cancer Society says only 5% of these cases are from gene defects. That means, you guys, that 90 to 95% are actually under our control. They're caused by excessive weight, tobacco, or exposure to toxic chemicals. It's what we're allowing into our homes. The National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health studied 2,983 ingredients in our products at home and found 884 toxic ingredients. 
314 caused biological mutations, 218 caused reproductive problems, 146 that they knew of caused cancerous tumors, but yet they're allowed in the United States, even though they were banned in the European countries, other countries around the world. So to protect your family, begin with making changes in your home and start with the biggest offenders first. Start with laundry soap, dishwasher soap, cleaning supplies, candles and plugins. I urge you to toss the candles and plugins. A candle is filled with dangerous petrochemicals. Dr. Andrew Sled, who specializes in environmental toxicology, says burning a candle in your home for just two hours is the same as smoking a pack of cigarettes. 40% of candles are made with wicks containing lead. It's not safe to breathe that in. By making a swap from candles to a diffuser with some thieves oil, you're supporting your immune system instead of harming it. No one else is going to be the gatekeeper of your home except you. 26 seconds after exposure, chemicals are found in measurable amounts in the human body. Now the average woman applies 300 chemicals a day to her body and 80 of those are just even before breakfast. The top 10 most dangerous chemicals in your home are air fresheners like plug-ins or candles, cleaning, chemical cleaning supplies for your counters, floors, toilets, drain and oven cleaners, furniture polish, dishwasher soap and dish soap are also culprits. Now what do you think the number one poison in the family home is? It's actually laundry soap, fabric softener, and dryer sheets. You're poisoned three different ways. As you're washing, you have topical exposure to your skin, and then the clothes outgas all night long in your closet as you sleep and you breathe those chemicals in. If you make that one swap when you go home, just to, to switch to a thieves laundry soap, I'm gonna feel like I've done something great with this class for you. So other dangers in the home are hairspray, gel, shampoo, and deodorant. Deodorant with aluminum is one of the leading causes of Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease. That information about the most dangerous chemicals in the home comes from a government study called U.S. Environmental Protection Agency's Top 10 Household Chemicals. So what happens when your body's chemically overloaded? Well, most of us feel it as lethargy, inability to focus, sleep trouble, chronic inflammation, unexplained pain, fibromyalgia, skin issues, adult acne, hormones, hot flashes, stress, anxiety, and fear. So if you face any of these issues, it's time to kick chemicals to the curb. You can control what you allow within the four walls of your home. You can cross some things off the list by getting as close to toxic chemical free as you can in your home. My journey started with Young Living. I'm not telling you that Young Living will change your personal health issues, but I am telling you that if one of your triggers is chemicals, possibly in something you're slathering on your skin or breathing in or consuming, it's time to get some of those things out of your house. My favorite place to start is with the Seed to Seal Promise on our over 600 products at Young Living. So what is Seed to Seal? It's the standard of purity for Young Living. That means no chemical overload. You can trust the name. Young Living is an essential oils company based out of Utah. The one thing that sets um, Young Living apart from any other oil companies is our seed to seal promise. Let me break down what seed to seal actually means. Now at Young Living, we do not strip constituents to make our oils smell better. We do not mix species of the same oil. We do not spray weed killers or pesticides or herbicides or use genetically modified seeds. We spend $12,000 per acre to hand weed lavender instead of the industry standard of $60 per acre for the same plant. The industry standard is $60 per acre because spraying pesticides is so much cheaper than hand weeding. We do not distill with solvents like hexane. Our soil is not tainted with mercury, arsenic, glyphosate, or any poison because our fields are untouched by toxic chemicals. We harvest at the exact time of day that Young Living's research team has found to be the ideal time for that specific plant. We know when that peak is because of our extensive library on oils, the oldest and largest globally. It's compiled from nearly 30 years of research at farms on six continents. 
Gary Young grew helichrysum essential oil at St. Mary's Farm in Idaho, then Mona in Utah, then the Mediterranean country of Croatia to watch its scores on our seed to seal testing. We don't grow it where it grows natively. We grow it where it grows best and produces the most effective oil for your body. Our farms are all over the world and you can visit them yourself, any of them, because we are transparent. We then test eight times at the farm, then again at our Spanish Fork, Utah uh, facility, then again after bottling. We do 24 tests per batch to make sure the oils meet our standards. Then we do third-party testing with two accredited, respected, independent labs. Young Living's oils are tested by scientists with over 180 years of combined lab experience. Most of the scientists were actually hand-trained by founder Gary Young himself. Young Living is the global leader in essential oils with nearly $2 billion in sales annually. That means that those that use our oils keep returning because they work. There are 3,000 global employees, 600 life-changing products, 16 corporate and partner farms, more than 20 international markets, 50 highly trained scientists, 12 independent, independent partner labs, and 6 million global members. Young Living is about integrity, hard work, and high standards. That is seed to seal, and that is why Young Living is different. We are more than 25 years old, which is really unique for global essential oils company. Check out this one minute video to see the heart of Young Living and visit the farms from your seat. So what are essential oils? They are the most powerful part of the plant. They repair and restore the plant when it is attacked or injured. We can use oils in the home to replace harsh chemicals. So why would you want oils in your home? Well, oils have no yuck. They are just distilled or cold pressed plant. There are millions of uses, such as natural health products for common ailments like arthritis, headaches, digestive discomforts, acne, and so much more. You can flavor your food and water with our oils, supporting your emotions and your stress levels. They're used to replace cleaning supplies. Thieves Cleaner, that's all I use to wipe down my bathroom, my stove, my kitchen. I even mop my floors with it. It's made of plants and essential oils. And you can use oils to replace your personal care products. Young Living has an entire line of shampoos, soaps, conditioners, eye creams, and face washes that are completely chemical-free. If you use oil-infused supplements, you get the benefit of the supplement along with the power of that essential oil. It does matter where your oils are sourced. There are four types of oils on the earth. The first is grade A, that's authentic. 
Grade B is a manipulated essential oil. Grade C is perfume grade and grade D is just synthetic. So it's so important that you use only grade A oil because of the concentration in that bottle. It's like eating an entire apple tree sprayed with pesticides instead of just one apple. So it makes no sense to go the extra mile to get away from chemicals and then use an oil laden with chemicals. Let's take a look at a powerful video that shows the effects of spraying crops. This study was done out of Sweden and is based on food, but essential oils are even more concentrated than that. So when it takes 60,000 rose blossoms to make just one ounce of rose oil, the concentration of that pesticide sprayed on those plants is so much higher. Look at what one month of clean eating and getting rid of chemicals can do to the level of chemical exposure in the human body. Most of what is grown today is treated with pesticides. That's not so healthy for the environment, but does it really affect us? Meet the Palmberg family. They don't eat organic food. It costs more than vanlig mat. It blir en stor skillnad när man är många i en familj. But for the next two weeks, the Palmbergs are going to eat only organic. Before they begin, urine samples are taken from each of the family members. And it turns out they have a number of different pesticides inside their bodies. Vi hittade framförallt insektsmedel, svampmedel och stråförkortningsmedel. Vi äter insektsmedel. Ja, äckligt. Ja. So, everything in the kitchen is replaced and they begin eating only organic. Then, another round of samples are taken and now, almost all the pesticides have disappeared. Vi vet ju väldigt lite om långtidseffekter av att äta mat som har besprutats. Eh, speciellt med tanke på att studier har visat att kemikalier i kombination kan vara långt farligare än kemikalier var och en för sig. När man får höra det här så tänker man framförallt på barnen. Det är många kemikalier som har lämnat deras kroppar och jag vill inte ha tillbaka dem i mina barn. crazy, right? So if you like to save 30 cents a pound when you buy grapes at the grocery store by going for the sprayed grapes instead of the organic ones, I've just rocked your world. It matters what you buy. And that is why Seed to Seal is so powerful. It's not always about getting the cheapest version of a product that you possibly can. It's about the protection of your family. So now that you understand purity, I want to switch gears and talk all things thieves. We're going to do a little history class, a little math class, a little science class, and then you're going to fall in love with this thieves concept. Thieves oil, essential oil, is a blend of five powerful young living oils. It's spicy, hot, uplifting, and energizing, and it is one of the most famous oils in all of young living. One of the oils that put this company on the map in the early 1990s. Thieves oil is in our Thieves household cleaner. So to kick this section of the class off, let's take a look at a one minute powerful video of what Thieves cleaner can do. The pan in this video had been through the dishwasher 11 times and had a full scrubbing with a steel wool pad, yet it could not stand up to Thieves. I, we're just gonna scrub it and show you that it's, it's not going anywhere. Like this has been through multiple it's one of those things where you scrub as hard as you can, it's not going anywhere, right? So we grab some baking soda. It's pure baking soda and thieves. Now we're not gonna use all of this thieves, but we'll pour a little bit of each in. And yep, just like a little sprinkle. We'll put a little bit of um, thieves cleaner in there. See if we can make some headway on this pan that's been through the dishwasher so many times. So if it's something that I just cooked, I put a couple of drops of lemon and lemon just makes that pan amazing. If it's something that has been there for a while, you can't get it up, this is my go-to. Rachel put even more and she wants a nice good paste. Yep. Now 
we're going to take it over to the sink. Just do a good rinse on it. Dun -dun -dun, following the pan. Let's see, after multiple dishwasher loads and soap and all the other good things with this really nasty, non scrubbable pan looks like. How are you in? Five, four, three, two, bam. See it's cleaner. To the rescue. So amazing. Now let's take a look at the power of Thieves. I'll show you how it cleans. I want you to look at these before and after photos of the power of this Thieves cleaner. This is a sink cleaned with diluted Thieves cleaner. So we've got a cap full of the Thieves household cleaner in a spray bottle with water. The sink was cleaned with a sponge and a few sprays of Thieves cleaner in under two minutes. The cleaner even got rid of the lime buildup under the sink knobs with no hard scrubbing. This is hard water stains in a sink scrubbed with diluted thieves cleaner in a spray bottle. The cleanup only took a few minutes and no harsh chemicals were used. Now here in the top left, the first photo shows hard water stains that in that tub that could not be re removed with half a dozen harsh chemical cleaners. The photo below shows thieves cleaner to the rescue again. In this instance, the owner made a paste with Thieves Cleaner and baking soda and let it sit on the tub walls for 15 minutes and it came right up. The row of photos on the right show coffee grounds burnt to the bottom of a stainless steel pan. They were removed with undiluted Thieves Cleaner and the pan looks like brand new. So this is a whole new way to clean. Thieves will revolutionize how you clean your home. It's been a game changer for me. I recommend that you start with the $199 Young Living Thieves Premium Starter Kit. It's where I started my journey, and it's where I suggest you start too. The starter kits are steeply discounted. And in addition, when you order, you get a 24% discount for life. Forever, any oil you get from that point on, or any Thieves cleaning item, it's 24% off. There's no yearly membership. There are no fees. Just snag your kit and enjoy a lifetime discount. The Thieves Starter Kit shown here comes with a 15 ml bottle of the Thieves Essential Oil, a dew drop diffuser, Thieves Toothpaste, Concentrated Thieves Cleaner, a foaming hand soap, a hand sanitizer, laundry soap, fruit and veggie spray, and the Thieves Dish Soap. That means you get the oil, the toothpaste, the cleaner, which will replace all the cleaners in your home, hand soap, a spray that you can use for cleaning those apples and grapes, laundry soap to get your clothes detoxed from all the years of buildup, and so fresh and clean with no harsh cleaners rubbing up against your skin. You're gonna get dish soap, which by the way, is also my favorite for pre-spotting, uh, for anything greasy on my clothing. You'll get a hand sanitizer and a diffuser and the Thieves Oil to replace all the air fresheners and candles in your home, all in one kit. Now, did you know that there is also a deeply discounted bundle of thieves called our essential rewards bundle. So you get the blessing of thieves with your 24% discount, but then you get 10 to 20% off uh, as an ER discount and an additional discount because it's an ER bundle. So it's the most affordable way to keep thieves in every room of your home and with you on the road. This bundle is worth over $173 wholesale, but it's priced at only 138 Canadian. So essential rewards, I mentioned that, what is that? Well, it's the way you're gonna save the most on thieves. If affordability is an issue, consider this. When you get that thieves kit, you get 24% off all your oils for life. It's a wholesale membership. And then when you sign up for essential rewards, which ships Young Living products that you get to pick out each month on the date that you choose, you earn 10% back on your purchases right away. That means Young Living is paying you back 10% for buying your laundry soap and your dish soap, and there's no chemical yuck inside. After three months, you get 20% back, and after 24 months, you get 25% back just for buying your cleaning supplies on Essential Rewards. No store I've ever heard of does that. And if you get on Essential Rewards when you join Young Living and get your starter kit, 
that kit will count towards free oils and points. And that's why I recommend you get on Essential Rewards right away at sign up. You can cancel at any time. There's no fee. You're never locked into anything. You just get a house full of pure, toxin-free cleaning supplies and a healthier you. The next step in oiling is to get plugged into our core four classes. You just had your first class in a series of four today. I recommend you pick a date and you do a 101 oils, a 103 Ningxia Red, or a 104 Savvy Minerals Makeup class together because we believe in training you in the core four aromatherapy classes. When you know better with your medicine cabinet, your supplements cabinet, or your makeup, you do better. So let's wrap up with the science of thieves. This is my favorite part of the class. I'm going to show you where you start and then we'll get you on your way to a toxin free home. So what is thieves cleaner used for? Here's some ideas. Put it undiluted into a little roller and make a stain stick for your clothing. No chemicals. Pour it onto spots on your carpets undiluted and get rid of stains. Let it sit on the bottom of pots and pans with burnt food stuck to the bottom. Put a cap of it in a spray bottle, fill it with water, and use it as a surface cleaner for your kitchen, bathroom, counter, sink, stove, and bathtub. Add some to a bucket of hot water and mop your floors with it. Put a little thieves cleaner in some baking soda and make your own soft scrub without any harsh chemicals that you can use to clean your oven. Clean your dishwasher and your washing machine by running an empty cycle with a cap full of thieves household cleaner. Thieves is some of the best glass cleaner replacement I've ever seen. Spray it right on your windows to take all the gunk off. It's also great for detailing cars and cleaning the dashboard. There is no yuck in Thieves, just plants and plant-based materials. You can literally replace everything under your counter with just one bottle. So what about the Thieves oil? That comes in the starter kit. Why would you want that? Well, the oil is a lot more concentrated than the Thieves cleaner. Thieves essential oil doesn't contain the other plant ingredients that allow the oil to be evenly spread through your cleaning solution. So if you try to make Thieves cleaner at home without, with, with just Thieves oil, you're just gonna end up with oil and water. So here are some uses for Thieves essential oil. You can refresh a musty carpet by putting Thieves oil in some baking soda, let it absorb, and then sprinkle it, sprinkle it over your carpets and vacuum it up. Put one drop of Thieves on anything sticky, Put a drop of thieves on anything stuck to an object or a kid or any sticky residue you don't want and then wipe it off. After washing your clothes with thieves laundry soap, add four to five drops to a dry washcloth and toss it in the dryer to make your clothes smell beautiful and fresh. Add a drop to the cardboard insert of your toilet paper rolls to have thieves freshness in your bathroom. Diffuse it to aid with symptoms of cough and cold and to purify the air. Put some on your feet and on your spine daily. Dilute it with coconut oil or olive oil if you're putting it on kids or, or Young Living's V6 carrier oil is my favorite. Add some coconut oil for an all natural soothing chest and throat rub. Put 20 drops in a 10 ml roller bottle with a carrier oil and apply it under your nose when you're going out into public places. Add 20 drops to a one ounce spray bottle with some water and a little witch hazel and spray it on your clothes to freshen them up. Clove has a numbing effect to it, so I like to put thieves right on my teeth to soothe them when they are hurting. Let's take a, a moment um, and talk about thieves and what's in it. The thieves blend contains clove, eucalyptus, rosemary, lemon, and cinnamon. It's based on the legend of the four thieves in Marseille, France, dating back from the time of the outbreak of the bubonic plague. Century after century, from the 1300s to the 1700s, outbreaks claimed up to half of the population of Europe. There was a nasty outbreak between 1593 and 1608. Around that time, an aromatic legend developed around a brew called Marseille vinegar, or Four Thieves vinegar. As history has it, the group allegedly confessed they used it with protection against the plague while they robbed the bodies of the dead and the dying. There are a variety of recipes out there, but they included rosemary tops, dried sage flowers, fresh rue, camphor, garlic cloves, and vinegar, which were, which were to steep for seven or eight days. The vinegar was noted in a number of famous medical books published later on, including the Pharmacologia from 1825. 
This page you're looking at is a snippet from that original book from almost 200 years ago. As the legend goes, these thieves covered themselves in the herbs and essential oils mixtures before robbing the bodies of the dead. They were a mix of spicers, perfumers, and embalmers that had carried this recipe through their families for generations. The magistrate caught up with them and was going to behead them, but offered them amnesty if they explained how they used the thieves' mix. D. Gary Young, the founder of Young Living, is the most responsible for the story reaching the legendary status it has today. He created the Thieves' Blend in 1994 for immune support as the result of his study at Warwick University in London, England. Gary said, quote, I must tell you that I have read 17 different versions of the Thieves' story. Some claim there were four thieves and some claim there were as many as 40. Most of the legends took place in the 15th century, but some put the date in the 18th century. The formulas varied from one story to the next, but through my research, I was led to four key botanicals that were mentioned again and again. Clove, cinnamon, rosemary, and lemon. Four of the same ingredients that make up the thieves' oil blend today. You thought you'd get through a, a thieves' school day without a little science class, huh? Think again. We're going to bring in our top science guru to explain how to use Thieves products effectively. Hi everyone. It seems like lately everyone is worried about transmission of diseases. And I just was looking at the CDC or the Center for Disease Control website and they have some really good recommendations on how you can mitigate transmitting uh, diseases. One of the main things they recommend is hand washing, believe it or not. They recommend using a good soap. I just happen to have one here. And it's interesting to note that most people actually wash their hands the wrong way. We tend to do this underwater, and that's actually wrong because what we're doing is washing the back surfaces of our hands when the important part of our hands to clean are the surfaces that touch things. So it's the fingertips and the thumb. So we should really be doing this underwater. And the CDC says to use a good soap under running water for at least 20 seconds. And really scrub your fingertips and then scrub under your nails and then rinse thoroughly. Because that's how we transmit disease. We tend to touch things and then touch our faces. And particularly touching your eyes is a great way to get an infection quickly. So they recommend hand soap and washing thoroughly. If you're not uh, at a place where you can access soap and water, they also recommend using hand sanitizers with alcohol levels higher than 60%, like our thieves hand sanitizer. And again, they recommend using plenty of hand sanitizer to thoroughly wet your hands and then rubbing your hands and especially your fingertips and thumbs together until they're dry to let that alcohol have a good effect. And finally, they also have some really good information about sanitizing the surfaces around you. And they recommend using sanitizers with at least 70% ethanol, like our thieves spray. And they recommend spraying surfaces liberally and then wiping them thoroughly. So I hope you will all practice these tips and we can really avoid transmission of pathogens. So that was the latest from the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, the CDC, about ways to mitigate the spread of pathogens. And that was our uh, chief, young, chief science officer, Dr. Mike Book. So many have asked how Young Living's hand sanitizer is different if it also contains alcohol. Well, not all alcohol is made the same way. Ours is denatured using peppermint oil, which makes all the difference. You get the power of the alcohol with ingredients you actually want to see. So can it really be used as a strong enough surface cleaner? We're going to put it to the test. These swab tests are the same test types of tests that they use in the food industry to test for unclean counters near food prep areas. So let's take a closer peek. This is Young Living leader Rachel Cipriano. She made up a spray bottle of Thieves Cleaner, one capful of cleaner to a, to a bottle of water, and then rubbed some raw chicken on her counter to see if Thieves could get it clean. This nasty chicken on my counter. Get it really good and slimy. And then I'm going to do the first test just to um, see that it's dirty. So I have to swab the surface, and then when I put it into the little solution, it will turn a color. Green means clean, and then the darker purple it gets, the dirtier it is. 
So I snap it into the solution. And then, oh, it didn't come in. There we go. And then shake it for five seconds. And you can see it's a dark purple. So it's contaminated. It's not a clean surface. There is really chicken juice all over. And again, I give that a quick wipe. Another chicken juice up and spray it down with our thieves. Just a second. So this is what we use everywhere in our house, in the kitchen, in the bathroom. It's all we use for everything. And I've always trusted that it worked, but I know a lot of people kind of wanted proof kind of hard to believe that cleaning with plants is just as effective as the chemical cleaners that you find in the grocery store. Okay, so we've wiped it down with Steve's cleaner. Now we have the second test swab. Oh wait, you're supposed to put water on it. It's not supposed to be dry. So, um, because that's a dry surface now, I'm just wetting it with water. And now I can solve it. And again, just snapping it into the solution. Shake. And you can see it's green. So the green means clean. And you can see that was the purple when it was contaminated. And then the green after the thieves. Well, there you go. I always find that fascinating um, and fantastic proof. So what about our thieves cleaner that comes in your starter kit or your essential rewards kit? Are the ingredients inside safe? Let's take a closer look. You see there we've got some water, we've got some, uh, some alkyl polyglucide, which is a plant derived from sugar, some sodium methyl 2 sulfalorate that's derived from coconut oil, that's what's going to act as your surfactant and foaming agent. You've got some essential oils in there, tetrasodium glutamate dias diacetate that's also made from plant material it's it's readily biodegradable with a wide ph range it serves the same function as edta that we often see as an ingredient but it doesn't have the health and environmental concerns and then disodium 2 sulfolorate that's derived from coconut oil as well and that's your wetting agent so that's going to act as your surfactant and foaming agent so having a safe cleaner around the home, um, I have four fur babies that were especially important to me. They're the reason I got started on this journey. And knowing they weren't absorbing dangerous chemicals into the pads of their feet or because they lick everything, that gives me the peace of mind. So I want you to go and grab the cleaners under your cabinets when, you, um, when you're available at home and look at the, na the names on the labels. If there is an ingredient that you don't know, type it in Google with the words dangers of. Start to look at what you're breathing in or slathering on your skin. Know your home and then protect your home. It doesn't matter how clean it is if you can't afford it, right? But Thieves is affordable. Let's break it down. It's time for a quick math lesson. We've already covered history and science. You're getting a full school day today, so I'm not terribly quick on my feet when it comes to calculating costs of products at the grocery store, but Thieves is a no-brainer. It's significantly cheaper, uh, sorry, significantly cleaner than green cleaners, and it is even cheaper than chemical cleaners. It's, a sim it's simple. It requires no prep, and it's easy to swap. Let's take a peek at the fruit and veggie soak. Thieves is really good at preserving fruits and vegetables. I save a ton of money that way as well. I've always been blown away using the Thieves fruit and veggie wash because all the grime that comes off my produce when I bring it home from the grocery store. This is the story of two pumpkins. One pumpkin was sprayed with Thieves and the other was not. One is happy, one is not. As I'm putting my groceries away, I pull each fruit or veggie out and I pop it in a large bowl of water with a cap full of the fruit and veggie soak. And it helps get the gunk and the dirt off my produce before I put it in the fridge from people touching it and sneezing on it and the bugs pooping on it. So I let it soak for five minutes while I'm putting all my other groceries away. Simple as that. Now, if you're overloaded by the concept of oiling, 
Thieves is a brilliant place to start. Oils are the gateway to natural health. They are like fast food natural health. You apply and you carry on. There's no tincturing, there's no fermenting, no growing weird things in jars on your counter. All the hard work is done at the Young Living distilleries and out in the farms. Then it goes from Young Living's farm to your home. In a single order, you can knock out most of the toxic chemicals in your home with Thieves Cleaner alone. It's not gonna break the bank. It's simple, easy, gateway into your world of oiling. You're protecting your family from more than a dozen different cleaning solutions with a single bottle of Thieves Cleaner. Thieves Laundry Soap, that's another very simple swap. So if you don't have a, a starter kit yet, I do recommend the Young Living Thieves Premium Starter Kit shown here. It comes with everything we discussed earlier and allows you to do a revamp of your cleaning supplies cabinet and even a bit of your bathroom. For those of you ready for next level oiling, let's talk essential rewards one last time. You get free promotional stuff when it, that automatically comes with your essential rewards order when you spend 100 190, 250, or 300 PV every single month. Essential Rewards is the most affordable way to build your oils collection. In addition to free oils, there are bundles that are only available on Essential Rewards and they come at a discount. This is what the Thieves Essential Rewards bundle comes with. It's great for families that are making the simple swap and cabinet cleaning the yuck out of their homes. And because it's on Essential Rewards, it's steeply discounted. $178 of Thieves products for just $138. That's, that's $40 off. And you're swapping just about everything in every room. Hand soap, glass cleaner, floor cleaner, oven cleaner, mouthwash, toothpaste, hand sanitizer, so much more. So if something in this class convicted you, something hit you in the gut, I know that when you go home and you try Thieves Cleaner, how you care for your family and clean your home will be very different. I want to come alongside you. I want to help you train your friends and your family in toxin-free living because you'll fall in love with Thieves and want a chemical-free life for your mom and your best friend too. My goal is for you to place your oils order free forever. Like, I don't want it to ever be a burden on your budget. If just four of your friends sign up and they want to get a starter kit, your starter kit with Young Living was free. If you have five to 10 friends fall in love with this lifestyle and get on essential rewards by attending any of our core four classes, remember oils, thieves, Ningxia, or savvy, you'll get a check to place orders for your family's products every month. Things that you get to pick out every month that you want to swap out. I'm willing to help teach your circle, to educate them for free, to give you the blessing of oils and seed to seal products for your family. Share this link with them. Talk to me after, after this class. Message me. I'm happy to talk to you. Young Living was the best decision I've ever made for my family. And my goal is that your order never has to come out of your family budget. So please, if you want to learn more, send me a message. So where do you start with all of this? Start small, start slow, start with what you're convicted of. Let me give you a simple tip. With your food, simply start by reading the ingredients. If you can't pronounce it, don't eat it. Now, it doesn't mean you can't have ice cream. Just go for the ice cream where it's milk, sugar, eggs, and vanilla instead of an ingredient list that's 35 items you can't even pronounce. Learning to integrate oils into your home is about small, simple baby steps. Take it one month at a time. Maybe the first month you focus solely on Thieves Cleaner and you toss every single cleaning supply from under your sink. Go home, wipe your kitchen down, fall in love, and know that you're boosting your immune system instead of taxing your liver. The next month, focus on your personal care products like deodorant and shampoo. Month three, focus on internal wellness. Getting your family drinking Ningxia Red, which is our antioxidant superfood. Month four, Focus on beauty supplies, like face wash. Every day that you la ladies leave your makeup on, your skin ages by seven days. So use a toxic free option to get it off. I started this journey myself with a Young Living starter kit and I have never looked back. We use the oils in our, in our starter kit every single day in our home. Every oil you use is a toxic chemical you're not using. That's where I began, and that's where I recommend you start too.
So we're gonna wrap this class, class up, but first let's pause and take a peek at what a toxic free home looks like. These are kids of Young Living Diamond, Sarah Harnish. They're running around their home like a scavenger hunt, peeking behind the cabinets, and they are gonna show you what clean living looks like in a Young Living home. Let's watch. Super cute. All right, I know you guys are excited and you are ready to turn your home into a toxin-free home and get oiling. So how do you order? Simply go to youngliving.com, click on become a member and use the member number of the person who told you about Young Living. 
they're going to be your enroller and sponsor. It's that simple. And I wanna welcome you to the world of oils. So let's recap your chemical free journey checklist. One, snag your thieves kit, get on essential rewards and start earning back on all of your purchases right away. Two, contact the person who referred you to this class, get plugged into the next core four class, either 101 oils, 103 Ningxia or 104 Savvy. Three, embrace this new lifestyle and meet some incredible like-minded people that are here to help you. Young Living is the best decision I've made in my chemical-free journey. I know it will level the playing field for you as you kick toxic ingredients out of your home. There is a consequence to everything that we breathe in, everything that we eat, and everything we put on our skin. We may not feel it immediately, but your safety is worth the swap. You have to know your home to be able to protect your home. And that happens with careful label reading. So welcome to Young Living. Thank you for joining me. I'm so happy to have spent this time with you and uh, I'm excited to see you guys start to transform your home. Thanks for watching.